This is the Transformers Generations Legacy Evolution Voyager Class Comic Universe Bludgeon. Oh my goodness, he looks great in packaging. Fantastic box art right here. I picked up this figure from Robo Robo. Let's get this bad boy out of packaging. And here is Legacy Evolution Bludgeon out of the box. And boy, this figure came out great. I love this retool and redeco. I mean, the colors alone, spot on, kind of comic book accurate, or should I say G1 Pretender accurate. I love these bright colors, these maroon, tangerine orange. You've got some avocado green. Just an amazing, amazing color palette on this figure. Now, if you love the Tarn figure, you love that mold, you are going to love this figure. This figure is a Great, fantastic retool of that Tarn mold. He's got a fantastic new bludgeon head sculpt. He's got that samurai, or should I say Cybertronian samurai sword. And he just looks great overall. Let's take a closer look at the details of this new Legacy Evolution bludgeon. Head to toe, the figure stands at about 17 centimeters tall or about six and three quarters inches tall. For some size comparisons here, he is with Legacy Galvatron. This one's a leader class. And we've got Legacy Soundwave. This is a repack of the Siege Soundwave, which is a Voyager class figure. And I think it's fair to say that he is slightly a larger sized Voyager class figure uh, with his height somewhere in between a leader class and a Voyager class figure. And here he is with the original version of the mold. We've got the Legacy Evolution Tarn, and I think it's fair to say that you get more bang for your buck with this figure uh, because you get an additional piece of plastic for this almost the same price. As far as paint apps go, uh, relatively the same amount of paint apps. There are some pieces from this figure that are painted here and some pieces in this figure that are painted here and unpainted and vice versa so not too bad as far as quality control goes this figure i think i got lucky uh joints are still pretty tight uh he can support the gun with the right elbow as opposed to this one that loves to just droop uh he's it's still not super tight but he can support it better than my tarn figure uh, paint apps, again, I think I got lucky because no splotching, yeah, some chipping here and there, but basically very, very acceptable amount of paint apps. Now, let me give you a close-up look at that head sculpt. Man, look at that bludgeon head sculpt. It's so fierce and menacing. Very comic bookish uh, bludgeon, more than pretender bludgeon, but yeah, I love it. I love how it came out. As far as the Evo Fusion gimmick of this figure, it's entirely the same as Tart, and it's still an amazing Evo Fusion. And look at this. This is how you do it. Are you ready? You go and put these two gun pieces together, and boom! You've got a sniper weapon, which you can hold with both hands, just like Tarn. Man, I can't get over and can't get enough of this Evo Fusion gimmick. Transformation, you want to set the weapons off to the side. Let's see if they have addressed the issues with transforming this particular mold. Okay, you want to flip the chest up like this. You want to unpeg the backpack, rotate the guns down, and then rotate the gun turret like this. You want to fold that head all the way back. Okay, there we go. And then you want to split the shoulders and then rotate them partially so that you can move this piece up. Ah, oh, it loves to pop off. And then go ahead and, if you can, tab it onto this peg right here. Okay, man, it just keeps popping off on my copy. Okay, then rotate the shoulders up like this. I'm gonna go ahead and rotate the arms or the biceps this way, rotate the fists this way, and then rotate this one like this, rotate this one like this, like this, and then like this, and then rotate that arm assembly up like this, rotate those biceps again like this. You wanna go ahead and combine the knees, combine the feet like this, go ahead and untab the knees. This turret is gonna fold, the feet are gonna tab onto that gun turret, the arms are supposed to tab in like this, like this, and finally open up these panels over here. Go ahead and fold up the rest of the tank treads. And this was the issue on the Tarn figure. It was a little tight. Don't know if it's still, yep, it is. There's still that issue 
with transforming these pieces right here they kind of need to just squeeze in under up and under those forearms and man they haven't fixed that issue come on it's still annoying but yeah what can you do and there you go basic tank mode for bludgeon the weapons the evil fusion weapons they are going to tab in over on top and form the gun turret of the tank the instructions say the sword fits over onto the side of the leg like this ah, it could have been a more creative way of doing so you can put the sword right here i think this is better it gives it a more symmetrical look in alt mode you get a tank with a sword do, 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 do. or you know what hasbro could have found a way to just plug the sword here maybe drill the hole in his pelvis you could have stuck that sword right there i think that would have been a better idea for this sword but what can you do hasbro decided to just put the sword right here okay not bad and for comparisons in alt mode here he is with the original mode tarn oh uh, yeah i think tarn still looks better in tank mode but the bludgeon bludgeon colors on this mold looking absolutely fantastic i love it now you can put the blast effects <laughs> and so some final thoughts on this legacy evolution bludgeon man i thought this figure was great i thought it was an amazing figure an incredible retool of that legacy evolution tarn mold i love the new head sculpt the colors are just absolutely fantastic and spot on plus you get a brand new accessory which is that cybertronian samurai sword and i thought you got more bang for your buck with this figure if you have to choose which figure to get if you only need one my suggestion is don't choose you need to pick up both figures especially if you are into the comic book continuity of these transformers you're going to love both these figures. Now, if you're not into the comic books and you probably want a more G1 accurate bludgeon, you can always wait for Hasbro to release a Pretenders bludgeon. I mean, it's only a matter of time before they do so. So, yeah, you could do that. But if you want a bludgeon figure right now that's very comic book accurate or as accurate as can be that uses an incredible mold it's got great details fantastic transformation amazing sculpt overall then you've got to pick up this figure this figure is going to get a i want to say 10 but it still has those flaws that the tarn mold had so it's going to get a nine and a half out of 10 let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this Transformers Legacy Evolution Voyager Class Comic Book Universe Bludgeon. Hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.